Hey guys, thanks for stopping by today. Today is going to be a quick tutorial on these chicken tractors behind us. This is a new design that we went with. Living Traditions Homestead is the creator that I took the idea from. We'll put a link in our uh, description box to take you to their channel. Super helpful uh, YouTube channel. They've got plenty of resources to get you going if you have any questions on homesteading uh, items as well. But this setup is uh, a whole lot better than the ones we had if you check out our other video which i'll put a link below they were about five about six foot tall tractors and they were extremely hard to move this design a lot smaller uh, was super simple to move and we've really enjoyed it so in the tutorial it'll probably kick off where uh, i'm putting the metal on and just to give a quick description the base is eight foot board pre uh, pressure treated by five foot pressure treated and i did do pocket screw i did do pocket screws this way it wasn't in the end seams of the wood so it holds together much better if you have any questions again as always leave them below any comments thoughts thanks for stopping by and god bless so once we get those pocket holes drilled then we're going to attach the uh, outer five foot piece to the ends of the eight foot boards. So it'll be eight feet plus one and a half, one and a half. So eight feet, three inches by five feet wide. And again, those pocket holes will be on the inside. You should go through the grain into here and make a better attachment. So now that I got the braces in the four corners, we'll flip it over and then it'll be ready for the metal. All right, I should have videotaped this. Might have been a good laugh for you, but uh, the way I got this panel in is I just put it on one side and then I pushed the other side down in the lip and it just naturally kind of the retention of it holds it in place. So what I'll do now is take little uh, clips, um, fence staples basically, and hammer them in. Now that I have the first layer on there, this is a, I believe it's 50 foot tall cattle panel. It was 16 feet long at the store, cut it in half at eight feet. To even out both sides, uh, I think it's seven feet, four inches to make sure that the start and stop are the same and not having these extras hanging out. So seven feet, four inches around. It should be 50 inches wide. It's only eight feet long here, so it will overlap just a little bit. Uh, I can either put the next piece over or under, uh, but do the same thing, just fasten them with staples on the edges. And when we're done with all that, we'll finish the top by adding one inch, and we'll probably overlap two layers of chicken wire uh, just to keep critters out. Next, I'm going to measure our chicken wire and start from that corner all the way across here and we get about 88 and a half. I just stretch from the end of this all the way down here. I made a mark. Where is it at? Oh, there it is. At 88 and a half. Stretch out my one inch chicken wire. Cut it and then I'll lay it across here. We'll connect 
the each individual chicken wires with J clips and just staple on the sides all the way down to cover up the cattle panel area. So what I'm going to do is take these little J clips, rabbit cage clips is also another term for them. They just sit in like so. Every so often, uh, I'll just find a point, put the J which, under what you want to clasp, and then just squeeze. And that's it. And I'll do that in a few spots just to make sure the overlap is close together and then maybe a few zip ties on the wire around uh, some of the cattle panel but three quarters of this whole cage is going to be covered by a tarp and one third will be showing so most of this will be covered up anyways clips in <clears throat> I found that if you just take the one uh, piece bend it over uh, the bar here and use the one screw to go through both pieces uh, it worked a whole lot better here I just put one underneath drug it around up front either way is fine but I think less material one screw doing it that way uh, will work better and for now I have a strap up top just to keep this from falling over so now that I got the door made all I did was take the cattle panel here it is 56 by 30 and then I put the one inch chicken wire on here, overlapped at one time just so it would go uh, together well. Did use the J clips for fastening those together. And then at every joint, I just put a small zip tie just so it stays on there. What I'm going to do now is use this galvanized hanging strap. You can get it at any hardware store. And I'm going to put it down and loop it around in certain sections and fasten it back down. So that will be the hinge for the door. It will open this way and close this way. And what Living Traditions did was between the two doors use a strap that's attached from here to here a big ratchet strap and just put a little tension on it so it stays closed but uh that's all we'll do to keep the doors on there 
So now that both door panels are done and on, added these cam buckle tie downs. Just hooked it to one side of the door, to the other, and put just a little bit of tension on that to uh, bring this side in so it's not bowed out at all. And probably not needed, but I went ahead and add one in the middle just to keep tension from something trying to dig in there. Not that we've had that problem. But